One more game on Saturday I'm going to preview here between Louisiana Tech and SMU. And uh, we've, we've seen we've seen Louisiana Tech, right? So uh, we've got a little bit to work with here. Uh, they're getting 19 and a half points here. Uh, that's up quite a bit despite uh, Tech's win. So uh, the total here up to 67 now uh, off an opener of 65. Hmm. That total seems to be on the rise. I don't disagree with that. I mean, this thing, uh, man, it feels like this game could be in the, in the 70s, uh, the way it's going. But, again, we're definitely tempering our enthusiasm a little bit with those uh, new rules. I mean, we saw one – God, what was it? The uh, Oh, the arm – was it the Navy, Notre Dame? I mean, you looked up and the first quarter was like you – know, was gone in a snap. This game opened uh, as low as 13 and a half, I believe, in the uh, uh, summer lines. It opened up in general as high as 16 and a half, though, here in this one. For Louisiana Tech, back-to-back uh, -back three and nine seasons. Uh, they do have uh, an experienced quarter. But like I said, uh, they, they have an experienced quarterback here. They struggle as a road dog, just 4-19 uh, over the last uh, few seasons. Uh, last week's game, though, was a pretty good pretty good for Louisiana Tech. They trailed that game 14 to nothing to FIU. Ended up pulling it off 22-19. to uh, I think SMU can run some numbers here, and I think Louisiana Tech going to be trailing them along a little bit, but I think the offense, that, that was impressive for them to do that. They outgained Florida International 447 to 182. You know, they, like I said, they trailed by two touchdowns. They ended up with 333 yards through the air uh, with that new quarterback. New quarterback to them, like I said, he's a junior. He played at Boise State, uh, you know, Started for two seasons, so plenty of experience. Uh, SMU pretty good as a home favorite, but, man, this is getting into the danger territory now at 19 and a half. I saw maybe it did get as high as 20 and a half, so there's been a little bit of buyback here. We know the SMU quarterback, uh, he's with Wisconsin now, and so SMU does is inexperienced. They have a sophomore with you know one start basically under his belt. Um, 16 starters overturned for SMU. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, but the spread probably going too high. Um, look, SMU uh, for that, they've, they've been playing 67% football over the last four years, 32 and 16 record, but just 23 and 25 against the spread, sometimes the spread a little bit too high. Teams played last year, SMU was favored by 11 points. The game was in Ruston, and SMU uh, won by two. So let's take Louisiana Tech in this one. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take uh, Louisiana Tech at 19 and a half. I uh, don't think – I think we're going to probably end up there. I don't think it's going badly. 20s might be gone. But Louisiana Tech is my play here at 19 and a half. So, uh, by the way, SMU next week. I uh, we play Oklahoma. Just going to play Oklahoma. So, get the Pony Express. Turn back the clock a little bit. Thanks a lot, everybody.